Hi there, my name is Hebziba Frances over here at Hebziba Frances YouTube channel. Welcome back to this series on faith, streaming up from my book titled Faith Tales. The book Faith Tales is free and you can download it on my blog at www.hebzibafrances.com or click on the link in the description box below to download it. Now in today's uh, um, video series, I'm going to be talking about the currency of faith. Now, Faith is such an indispensable resource for every born-again believer. Why? Because the things that God is going to be telling you, the things that pertains to your life and destiny, you can only really enter into them by faith. Every believer must learn how to wield their muscles of faith. Because if you don't, it means that you cannot receive of the plan and the vision of God for your life. You may only have your own plan. You may only end up having your own vision. You may only end up having that which you've planned for yourself. But if you want to get into the grand vision, grand lights, grand, grand fulfillment of what God has for you, you can only enter in by faith. Faith is actually a spiritual currency. If you do not have money, that's okay. If you do not have friends, partnerships, destiny partners, that's okay. But if you do not have faith, that's not okay. Because you can't get the money without the faith. You can't get the destiny partners without the faith. Every believer must learn to work their muscles of faith. It is not a suggestion. It is compulsory. You can't get a job without faith. When scripture says that when others say there's a casting down and we, we say there is a lifting up, how do you think we are able to say that? We are able to say that because we have a currency that can draw things down from the heavens above. Faith is an indispensable currency for a son and daughter of God. And I want to encourage you to go on a journey of building your faith. I'll give you a few things to do on how to build your faith. Number one, listen to faith messages. There are fathers of faith like Kenneth Hagin. He really dealt on faith in his time. He has messages here on YouTube. Go look for them and download them. Read books on faith. Read books from, you know, men who have walked the faith lives. Kenneth Copeland, Kenneth Hagin, Jerry Savelle. Read their books because that same spirit can come upon you. Read my book also, Faith Tales, because it says the testimony of Jesus is a spirit. The testimony of uh, you know is a spirit of prophecy. When you read what God has done through faith, that same spirit, that same you know, it can it can be a prophecy that comes upon your own life, and you just begin to you know go forth in that dimension. You can also build your faith by what Jude one twenty says: building yourself in the most holy faith, praying in the Holy Ghost. And that's actually one key component of the spiritual currency of faith because Ephesians 3 verse 20 says that God is able to do exceedingly abundantly by the power that is at work through us. Some of the most uh, radical faith stories that I had came through a time when I'd just been really spending time with God and the power of the Holy Ghost upon me just began to grow so much, so much, so much, so much, so much. I could believe God for the exceedingly and impossible things because faith, like I said in the last video, works in partnership with God. If you do not yet, uh, you know, believe in, a, in on the inside of you, the power on the, on the inside of you may not be able to power up that thing God wants to do. So build yourself in your most holy faith, praying in the Holy Ghost. And then faith also comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Build yourself by reading the word. It may start with just reading the logos, not really something that God has is saying personally to you. But the more you feed on it, the more, you know, God is able to then cause words from the scripture to jump on you. And you know, that's my word. That's my faith word. That's what God is saying to me. And immediately you are able to get what God is saying to you. You are able, your faith is able to grasp a hold on a substance and hold on to that. Faith does not work in a vacuum. It needs something, a substance that it grabs around. And that's the word of the Lord. That's the word of the Lord. Glory to God.